All right, everybody. Here's my first evolution of the game. Caterpie is about to become. Drum roll, please. Metapod, yay! That was not as exciting as you, as I wish it was. Oh, the wind is picking up. A possible storm is on its way. Sounds like a perfect time to continue my run of Pokemon Blue. Welcome back, everybody. Well, as you can see, I've trained everybody up to level eight. So now it's time to go fight Red, our rival. He is over here on route. I already forgot what number I said in the last video I said to him. Let's say 22 and call it a night, huh? <laughs> anyway, if you walk all along over here, here he is. Hey Yoshi, you're going to the Pokemon League. Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? And I just realized I forgot to actually order my Pokemon, Pokemon so... Whoopsie. So he's going to start off with a level 9 Pidgey here, which knows Gust, Sand Attack, and... I don't remember if he knows anything else. So I'm going to start off with my own Pidgey, and yep, I just heard some thunder. Sweet. Shouldn't be too bad of a storm, though, and somehow I am faster than it. You have a slow Pidgey there, Red. So I'm going to try to get off a few Sand Attacks so it can't hit me with every move it's got, and of course it still gets off. Ouch. But so do I. We do about the same amount to each other. Well, I might still be able to pull off a win here. Uh. Nope, missed. Oh! Outspeeded him this time. I guess our speed's about the same, because I think he outspeeded me in the last one. Oh, good. Ah. Alright. Missing level. Yes! See, you don't have to be a different species or the same level or higher, apparently, to win. Actually, I think this is a pretty good Pidgey, but I also don't pay too much attention to it. So now it's going to be coming his Bulbasaur. I'm actually going to keep Pidgey out for now. See if I can get a few sand attacks in and then switch him out. And yeah, Bulbasaur has learned Leech Seed. Since last time. Thankfully, it's that instead of an attacking move. Alright, I'm gonna switch him out now for a Nidor and Male! Who's recently learned Horn Attack and is just itching to get the attack out. Yeah, Bulbasaur is a defensive Pokemon, so. But his tackle missed, which is a good thing. So, but his growl unfortunately did not, but I'm pretty sure I have it at this point. So, it was brought to my attention by a friend of mine that, and I actually had forgotten this, but Wing Attack, which I think is like Pidge, the Pidgey line's best move that they naturally learn in this version, is, although it's a flying move, it's only 35 power in this generation, which I did not remember. So, it made me want to reconsider if I want to replace him with the Spiro line instead. But ultimately, I think I'm going to keep with him because I almost always use him in my playthroughs of the original generation. So, and he's done me well before, so I see I'm going to, just going to keep it. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Well, fine. I only came here to fight you anyway. Now do your magical disappearing skills. Alright, so... Ultimately, I'm going to keep uh, Pidgey and his evolutions on my team. And just deal with the situation... I did not mean to go that far down. Deal with the situation as it arises. Alright. Now I'm just going to heal up, and then we're going to begin our trek to Pewter City. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Metapod in the lead. Um, because he needs experience. And I can always switch if I need to. 
So, time to head north. Leave this city for a long time. Probably won't be back for a while. Oh, wait. Actually, I'll probably need to do some healing before I make it all the way through Viridian Forest. So, actually, I probably will be back. And by the way, as I showed you earlier, I showed you the evolution of Caterpie evolving into Metapod. I was going to show you me finding and catching a Pikachu as well, but I still have yet to find him. So, that's not really going to happen. Or, that can't really happen right now, I mean, so. And our first regular trainer battle. I think. Yeah. The only other two have been from with the rivals, so. Sends out his level 6 Weedle. So here's a level 8 Metapod. I was afraid Poison Stain was super effective in this generation. They do about the same amount of damage. And now Weedle is wasting his time slowing me down when he's already faster. That just helps me out. So, a couple of fun facts I remembered about this generation. Well, the first one I was reminded about. When Caterpie evolved into Metapod, I expected him to learn Harden. But I don't think that actually they actually added that into the yellow version. Because, as you could tell, he does not know Harden. So, he'll have to do without the extra defense boost. And the other thing is, in red and blue, I'm not certain about yellow. But I know in red and blue... The opponent's AI or CPU or whatever you want to call them, they do not have a PP limit. They can use their moves an infinite amount of times. I remember because I remember either. Uh, I think I was doing the battling. I don't think this is from a video. But I remember fighting Lorelei's Lapras in the Elite Four, and it used more than five blizzards. One could argue that they just have max PP, but that can't be either, because now I just remembered. I once had a Metapod versus Metapod battle, and I was a kid when this happened, so forgive my time wasting, but I didn't want to just trade out for experience, and both Metapods only knew heart. So I just kept the battle going until I ran out of power points, until I finally started struggling the opponent, and... The opponent Metapod just kept using Harden the entire time I was using Struggle, so they don't have a limit. And as you can see, Metapod's quote-unquote godly defense kept Caterpie and Weedle from breaking through him. No, Caterpie can't cut it! What about your Weedle? Don't you care about your Weedle, man? Alright, so let us move forward into this forest. I don't want to bore you with healing just yet. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Why not? That's seriously my response. If you see someone directly in the eyes, why can't you just go away? Or run away, or give an excuse. I see no reason why I should be forced into fights. It's just cruel and unusual punishment if you're in trouble. Yes, Weedle, you just keep missing with that string shot. I'm actually surprised I haven't been poisoned yet. Watch, the next shot's gonna poison. Nope! But it is time to switch, because I'm not gonna risk that he's gonna use string shot again. Bringing back the Nita Ran. Oh, oh well. Like I said, I wasn't going to risk it. Alright, level up. Kakuna. They don't re retain their old moves, do they? Metapod sweep. I call a Metapod sweep. While Metapod, apparently when he's in low health, gains Ghastly's cry. So now we get to play the long, arduous journey of tackling through a continuously hardening Kakuna. Not the most fun thing ever, but what can I do? 
So yeah, so that friend of mine I mentioned earlier, I got together with him and a couple others because we're trying to put together a Pokemon League. Unfortunately, it's local, so it only will work with people who we know, so... Fortunately, I can't have any of you get in on this unless you happen to be one of those people. And the meeting was supposed to be a Pokemon meeting, but then it turned into a video game meeting with some Pokemon on the side. Because we were trying to figure out rules and everything. But, yeah. And I have a team. I'm making a... We're doing a... Elite Four and Gym Battle thing, and then we have a little event that's going to be going on after that. And the four of us, I think, are making up the Elite Four. And I'm making a flying team, and I really hope I don't run out of tackles. Come on, incredible hit, please. Please. Anyway. So. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I'm making a flying team, which is pretty much done. I made it my. Uh, diamond? No, pearl version. I don't have diamond version. Critical, please, please. Ah, oh. uh, gas switch. Oh, so much wasted effort. Sorry to have wasted your time with that. So anyway, made up my pearl version, and I'm just gonna transfer them over to my white because I don't think I'm gonna make too many other changes. Though I'm considering replacing one member of my team. I'm not gonna tell you what it, the team is right now. I don't feel like. Going through it until I'm certain it's done, and they both grew levels. Sweet. Yeah, we'll keep Squirtle out. But the point is, it got me thinking that I need to start possibly EB training in my white version soon. So, as a result, I decided to tackle the battle subway. Um, regular single, and just do that over and over until I had enough enough BP battle points, I guess, to buy all six of the power items that you that Pokemon hold on to, to greatly speed up EB training. And that was a chore. It took me most of one day and then the morning of the next day. I swear I fought Ingo about six times and only won about half of them because I used three members from my in-game team, so they weren't EB trading in the slightest. Until the last battle where I won because I switched out one for another and gave him a couple good moves and he was a lot better than yeah, since they're all level nine now. Put Squirtle down here and actually that's good. One more level level and Metapod will evolve, and you'll definitely see that because it should hopefully happen in a non training off screen session. Which I only do when my only goal is to train against wild Pokemon. Everything else will be recorded. I just don't want you to have to watch the arduous journey of training against wild Pokemon to level up. No one wants to watch a lot of that. And I pretty much decide I'm just going to read most of the texts that trainers say because I'm undoubtedly going to have lots of empty spots if I don't. Really? There's no trainer here? Really? Is there any hidden item here? Uh, I swear there was another trainer there. Oh well, I know there's one... ...not here. Are we missing some trainers? Excuse me, game. There's some trainers missing. Oh, the Consorta Guidebook. I swear there are more than that. Okay, at least you are still here. So, we will go ahead and save here, and in the next part you'll see me battle this guy, and then I guess we'll explore Pewter City. So, see you guys then.